Tonight on Survivor Stories, forget the plot details of the amazing 2015 movie The Revenant, which inspired by the Hugh Glass story. There was no dramatic shootout at the end of the story, and Glass didn't have a son to avenge. The real story is amazing enough. He's afraid. He knows how far I came for him. Hugh Glass was a mountain man on a fur trapping expedition in August 1823, led by Andrew Henry. During the expedition, Glass surprised a grizzly bear mother with her two cubs and received massive injuries. The bear charged, picked him up, bit, slashed and lacerated his flesh, severely wounded him and forced him to the ground. Glass nevertheless managed to kill the bear with help from his trapping party, but was left badly mauled. The men were convinced Glass would not survive his injuries. Nevertheless, they carried Glass on a litter for two days, but doing so greatly slowed the pace of the group's travel. Henry asked for two volunteers to stay with Glass until he died, and then bury him. They were James Felix Bridger, 18 years old, and John Fitzgerald, 42 years old. Bridger and Fitzgerald stepped forward and began digging his grave. They both incorrectly reported to Henry that Glass had died. Hugh Glass regained consciousness to find himself abandoned, without weapons or equipment, suffering from a broken leg, the cuts on his back exposing bare ribs, and all his wounds festering. Glass was mutilated and alone, more than 200 miles from the nearest settlement at Fort Kiowa on the Missouri. He set his own broken leg, wrapped himself in the bear, hid his companions had placed over him as a shroud, and began crawling. Glass survived mostly on wild berries and roots, reaching the Cheyenne River. After six weeks of travel, he fashioned a crude raft and floated down the river, navigating using the prominent Thunder Butte landmark. Aided by friendly natives who sewed a bear hide to his back to cover the exposed wounds, Glass eventually reached the safety of Fort Kiowa. After a long recuperation, Glass set out to track down and avenge himself against Bridger and Fitzgerald. When he found Bridger on the Yellowstone near the mouth of the Bighorn River, Glass spared him purportedly because of Bridger's youth. Glass later learned that Fitzgerald had joined the army and was stationed at Fort Atkinson in present-day Nebraska. Glass reportedly spared Fitzgerald's life because he would be killed by the army captain for killing a soldier of the United States Army. However, the captain asked Fitzgerald to return the stolen rifle to Glass, and before departing, Glass warned Fitzgerald never to leave the army, or he would still kill him. According to legend, Glass also obtained $300 as compensation 